Good morning, everybody. NB board had recently altered the exam pattern for NEET PG 2017-18. Let's have a look how it changes things for you as a PG aspirant. The latest decision says the exam will be conducted by the NB board. There would be 300 MCQs. Changes are, it's a single day, computer-based, single exam, single session. Earlier, from 2012 till 2016 end, this exam was spanned over two weeks into morning-evening sessions. And now this year, we have an addition of one-fourth negative. One-fourth negative marking has been introduced in 2017 again. Last time it existed was in January 2012 when All India exam was conducted by AIMS. In between 2012 December going till 2016 end, there was no negative marking. Thus, the advice that we used to give was keep a very attempt, high attempt or almost 100% attempt. But how does these decisions change us? The first thing is a single day session. Number one, I used to get a lot of queries. Sir, which day to write the exam, starting or end? If it was spanned over weeks, starting or end? Morning or evening? That confusion is over now. Everybody will be attempting a single paper and in the same time. Thus, the thoughts, distractions, that my particular paper was different as compared to other difficult level timings made a difference don't exist anymore which is better so you write a single exam and you don't have a confusion when to write it you know it same time all the exams that is in the morning session roughly between 10 to 1 this is a very good thing how I will explain you in a minute and now what will make a difference is an introduction of negative marking which will make sure that better prepared and sincere students they have a better chance isn't it fair point number one same time all exams most of the students who do well in the exam those who do well they practice mcqs but most of the students who do very well they practice MCQs between 10 to 1 every morning because they say that most of the good exams, good exams for AIMS, PGI, JIPMER, they have main exams between 10 to 1. So you need to set your biological clock. When you go on that day, it's a routine for you because you've been doing it for weeks and months, practicing every day between 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. And now, our NEET, which is the most, most valuable exam as far as number of seats that you get is the same time. Isn't it wonderful? It also gets a uniformity in your daily schedule. You have a routine and people who have routine, they do better than people who don't have a routine. Have a stable routine. Keep in mind, finally, your exam is going to be between 10 to 1 because entrance exams is all about management and planning. How does introduction of negative marking change things? If I have got plus four marks for a correct answer, they are my source. Negative marking nibbles on that source, gets a drop in your ranks. It will change two things, how to attempt a paper and how many to attempt. How and how many? Let's look at how first and then how many. They are interconnected. But let me put it into two groups. How? Every MCQ exam will have about 60 to 70 percent topics repeat. Look, the topics are repeated, not the questions. These are the topics which decide how good you do. So how people do, they start your exam in a sequence. They will not go haphazard. They will go right from question number one till 300, but start picking up 
the MCQs which belong to the 60 to 70 percent, which if you have prepared for a decent time of six months and have focus of 100 percent during the exam, you will get them correct. But get them correct has to be marked correct. Marked correct has to be verified correct. What you should be careful about in these type of questions, always read all the four options. Every MCQ exam has A, B, C, D. You might have the same question which existed in your guidebook and you might have the same answer and you must just mark it. Don't do that. Examiner might have got a better answer. You never score an entrance exam for a correct answer. You score for the best correct answer. So read all the four options. My option is read down up DCBA. That will make sure even if you're confident about an answer, you follow the rules. You follow the rules, you do better. Second point that you should focus is these are the repeat topics. Rest of the questions will be from relatively newer topics or some part of them will be repeat. Anybody who does well in entrance exam will always be scoring correct in repeats. If your repeats are correct, they say you will never fall beneath a level. If your repeats are correct, you will never fall beneath the level. That is the key point because a loss of a repeat can never be compensated. Never ever. These are your, your next 50 years. So focus. Get these repeats correct. Once you have got them correct, that's about 180 to 210 MCQs. That means you are in a top group. Now the rest of the MCQs, which will vary from 30 to 40 percent of questions depending on the paper, how it is set up, are the ones that you need to be careful. Let's take an example. That about remaining 40 percent questions, about 120 questions are remaining after the initial round. Now out of these 120, there will be another group of 60, 60 each. The first 60 will be the questions. We'll be able to rule out two options. What do you mean by ruling an option? For example, if you have four options in MCQ, A, B, C, D, and if you are able to rule out one option, and now you have to make an educated guess, educated, not uneducated, educated guess, one by three, your success ratio is 33 percent. But if you are able to rule out one more, that goes to 50 percent and 50 percent is the chance which you need to have. 50 percent, you have to take your chances. You don't have to think about them. These are the questions you know somewhere. At the back of your mind, if you apply your brain, most of the times you'll be correct. These are the questions you will never leave at any cost. They are the ones that will take your attempt somewhere between 240 to 260, 270 in total. Because if the first go was 180 to 210 and then plus 60, that's the range you attempt. So you read around 240 to 270 MCQs that you get correct. And then you have a group of another 40, 30 to 40 MCQs depending on the paper where you'll be able to rule out one option. You will have to mark many of them because they say that for a person to qualify in an exam which has got negative marking, you still have to attempt about 95 to 98 percent of MCQs. So in AIMS exam, if there were 200 MCQs and the negative marking did not ever go away, the attempt was always between 190 to 196 for a student who fared well. But there are people who attempted even more. The people who attempt everything, they don't leave it. Because the rule is read all four options, read all 19 subjects, attempt 100%. That's how people teach. But if you go on a decent level, 190 to 196, I don't know people who mark mark more have done well in the exams, means who left more MCQs. So you attempt high. And the second thing, the similar conversion into the NEAT exam will be between 285, somewhere between 285 to 95 MCQs. And which are these MCQs? These are the MCQs about which you have absolutely no idea. But don't give up. Keep thinking. Try to extract things out of them also. There will be about 15, 20 MCQs where you won't have any idea. But you still have to attempt them. So again repeating. First go. Get your 60-70% repeats correct. If you get them correct, you won't fall below a level. And this is the one that you need to be absolutely sure of. This is the one that you've been reading for the last six months or more. In the second go, attempt the questions which have two options being ruled out. 
And number three, rest of them get maximum out of them. Go to 285 to 295. That's your way and the number. So keep an attempt. Don't fall prey to marking less answers. I knew people who were brilliant and they calculated that they should just mark 240 to 260 MCQs, right? But at the end, totaling out, they never qualified. So don't go into that. Keep an attempt more than 285. Don't keep it less than that. Root out the options. How much good you are, read all four options. Negative marking is a great thing to have, especially for the people who want to have a chance if they're prepared. The hard work will not go wasted. It makes sure. And then, all the best to you. Happy learning from Team Med Miracle. Thank you very much.